it's been just crazy since the start of uh, the lockdown here with COVID. Uh, we've grown over 230% uh, since beginning of March. So, you know, there's definitely an appetite out there in the marketplace for family-friendly uh, streaming services like ours. For sure. So Canoodle TV is the world's fastest growing OTT streaming service for families. Um, we, ha we have a very strong focus on th the connected TV environment. So we're partnered with uh, major OEM brands like Roku, like Vizio, like Apple TV, Samsung. Uh, basically, if it's a connected TV streaming device, you can find the Google TV app on there. Uh, we also have our mobile applications. Uh, what makes Canoodle TV unique compared to all of our competitors, you know, including brands like YouTube Kids, is we have actual human review of all content that airs on the service, whether that be uh, programming content or advertising content. So we have over 21,000 licensed episodes on the service today, available in over 196 countries uh, and territories globally. And we just made uh, one of our biggest content acquisitions to date with the Paw Patrol brand. So that just launched uh, on our service here in the past week. And Paw Patrol is basically the biggest kids brand out there for you know that uh, preschool and, and early school uh, age group. So there, I mean, there's a various uh, different ways that that uh, buyers can buy on Canoodle TV. They can do uh, direct buys, obviously, supply uh, creative. We can traffic it in our ad server. Um, we can also do programmatic integrations in a typical uh, waterfall type scenario where we have various tiers for our demand providers kind of laid out against the different supply channels that we operate, whether that be like a Roku or a Samsung TV Plus supply channel. And then of course, uh, you know, header bidding, which is one of the uh, latest evolving technologies in the, in the connected TV space. Could you explain what header bidding means in video to you guys? It's, it's been around, of course, for a while, but it's kind of new to the CTV space. What does it mean and what could it, what could be its impact? Well, really what it means is it means collapsing that traditional waterfall where demand partners are tiered on various levels and may or may not have priority in a given ad request situation and it, it levels that playing field and flattens it, whereby all uh, demand partners have the opportunity to bid on the inventory in a real live auction at the same time. And it ultimately drives revenue for publishers and, and drives a, a value for publishers. What's the climate interest attitude of advertisers, uh, categories that might be more um, uh, engaged with what you're doing? You know, give us an idea about that buy side. For sure. So, of course, we see all of the endemic children brands that you would expect to see with a children's service, whether that be for movie premieres for brands like DreamWorks with their recent Trolls uh, release or uh, toys from major toy co's like uh, Spin Master with their Paw Patrol lineup or Lego or uh, Hasbro or Mattel. Uh, but we also have a very large co-viewing audience. One of the things that we promote is family viewing because we do have that connected TV focus. Uh, we promote family viewing and we've commissioned some research and we find that over 96% of uh, the parents or guardians of these children do co-view with their, with their children from time to time and most often are within earshot of the television and, and hearing the adverts that are there. So we also see, you know, some of that co-viewing advertising coming through, whether it be from consumer packaged goods or, or automotive or travel, you know, really focusing on those family friendly uh, brands. And then, um, you know, finally, there's a lot of talk about attribution, uh, performance, expectations by brands, uh, and of course, how it's different than the linear buy. Um, what sort of the, are some of the expectations around performance attribution um, of your buyers, and what are the tools or kind of reporting, or um, how do you close the loop with them? Yeah, well, I think one of the misconceptions out there is CTV versus traditional display advertising in that an impression in display advertising is just simply an impression, like the, the uh, banner or whatnot has been viewed. Uh, but in, in connected TV, an impression beacon actually fires at the instant that an ad starts playing. So what advertisers are most interested in in connected TV is video completion rates or VTR, video uh, uh, throughput rates. And you know, they want to see the video come to completion, the video advertisement, knowing that the user has seen the entire thing. So, you know, the metric, the gold standard is 95% uh, VCR, meaning 95% of people who start watching an ad 
complete that ad. On Kidoodle TV, our metric uh, exceeds 99% regular. What's on the roadmap for you guys? What's next over the next 12 months? Uh, well, of course, the Pubmatic header bidding integration is underway right now and should be out here mid-July. Um, we also have uh, some enhancements to our internal creative review process uh, to make it a more real-time system. Uh, today, uh, we usually approve creatives within five minutes, but we want to hit that standard down to sub one minute. Um, you know, because when you're dealing on a programmatic uh, level, every opportunity that you miss could devalue your, uh, you know, publisher score within a given ecosystem. So uh, really looking forward to that. And then we also have uh, 4K and 8K content coming out and uh, some really exciting things around uh, custom remote controls for children uh, with some of our manufacturing partners. So those announcements should be coming out, you know, in the next uh, one to two months.